they uh, forgot they had the extra tray in there. So when they set the battery in there and everything, they slammed the hood down. Guess what it did? No, uh, it shorted out. Shorted out. It fried the wiring, and, and I, I built the wiring oh for it. Yeah, Rowan, you do me a favor. Will you do the honors? What's that? Crank it over, sir. Uh, all right. Crank it over. If you hear something stupid, please stop. Actually, in fact, I'm going to cycle the key a couple times. No, please get it inside the car. And sit in the driver's seat. Harold, watch your fingers. <laughs> it's, stand back. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Whenever you feel froggy, leap. You can do that. Oh man, this thing is on empty. Oops. Great. It's fine. Go ahead, crank it. Okay. Crank it again. Uh, gas, uh, right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, hold for one second. There you go. Oh. Got some gas. Okay, try it again. Go ahead. Go ahead, try it again. Did you unplug something? Where's the flashlight at? Let me see. Oh, the crankshaft position sensor? I think. Okay. Well, that would kind of do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure that's plugged in. Can't really see it. Oh, wait. Just give me a second, Rowan. Here, just trade places. This is on video right now. And I'll just reach down there and see if I can find it. Because it's tenacious. Right, it's hiding under that other piece of wire. Okay, here's the plug. It takes sometimes. Is the plug on it? No, it's in my hands. Thought there so. You go. It. I'm just happy I was able to, from inside the car, go, wait a second. Hey. What could cause it not to fire? Hey, my, 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 my brother, Rudy, from Auto House, took that back in 76. Yeah. When, when something happened, he'd, go, he'd pull out his rag, his little red rag, and he'd go like this. Okay, he'd jump in and start it. All right. right. With the rag. Like that. Yeah, so that was, um... That's kind of like an insult, you know? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, hit me with the, you guys ready? The this is Rowan's first in-house, and we're hoping... The valves do not go through the top of the pistons or the chain doesn't fly. Well, the chain's not going to fly off because I did the chain. So, go ahead. Keep going. This is normal. You got to get oil to the lifters. Stay there. Right on, dude. Yeah, you should be really fucking proud of yourself for your first Mercedes-Benz in-house. You did a great job. What happened? You got some noise. You heard it? This is the belt. No, 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 it's fine. Now let it warm up. Hey, hey, hey. Quick, look at Reggie. Hey, you know what? You said they're doing that. 
I thought, hey, what are you Oh, doing? I see. Uh -huh. Sleepers uh -huh. fucking with you. Hey. Uh -huh. You didn't hear me say stop man. banging those wrenches? Oh, no, I didn't he hear him. I could see him going like this and his arms kept moving. See, here's the problem. I'm deaf in one ear. Uh, so I, I was did, like, I oh, that's that, just a belt. I heard that noise. That's why I was kind of looking. <laughs> okay, so this is relatively normal. Why don't you go ahead and move it up to 1500 RPM? Okay, go ahead and plug in my computer. The plug in the dongle in OBD port. Harold, you want to talk? You want to keep topping the water off because it got a bubble. I see it's halfway down now. It's going to get another bubble. It's got a bubble. Okay, Rowan. Once you get that plugged in, come over here. Let, it's fine. Harold can turn it off if there's a problem. Okay, this is a factory Mercedes-Benz computer. This is called Zentry or SDS or Star Diagnostic. Yep. And the workshop information is called WIS. And there's a full workshop, wiring diagrams, time guides, everything that you could want in here. Okay. Everything that a dealership has. This is a 203. Okay. A damn sleeper shop. Uh-huh. All right, we got to hurry up here because I only have a couple more seconds of video. But what we're going to do is we're going to run a diagnostic really quick to see what's going on to make sure that the codes don't come back. And uh, Rowan was smart enough not to erase the codes until you've completed the repair. That's proper. So now we're going to see what the codes are and we're going to see what it is um make sure there's no new ones but we're not going to have enough time on this video to go through that so we're going to go as far as we can here and then we're going to sign off because it takes a little while for this computer to talk to the car because it talks to all the control units in the mercedes-benz not just the engine bumper to bumper seats headlights even the lights above your sunroof Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, we'll get back.